Greetings, Dave Hahn here. I'm going to talk to you today about something called tethering, which is basically uh, when you use your cell phone or any other internet-enabled mobile device as a modem for another device, like a laptop computer or a PDA. The connection is uh, usually made either with a cable, like a USB or serial cable, or wirelessly through Bluetooth. Now, why would you want to tether? We have all kinds of great smart applications for our smart devices that are synced up with our PCs and will enable us to do virtually any of the work we do in the office on the road. Well, there's the convenience factor. There's only so much you can do with your thumbs, and sometimes just having a keyboard and a full-size laptop is more comfortable and more efficient. The other reason to tether is cost. Not all cell phone companies yet have caught on to the fact that uh, we're using their smartphones to tether our laptops and surf the internet for basically free. And some of the other companies that do allow tethering are charging extra fees for the software and then forcing you to purchase an additional, a very expensive data plan just to do something which you can do for free. Today I will be discussing three different methods to use to tether your Android phone or your iPhone to your laptop to gain internet access. The three methods will range from easy and legit to medium skill required and legit to some technical know-how required and completely not legit. In addition to not being legit, uh, it will void your warranty and if your uh, iPhone or Android phone gets bricked during the process, please don't hold me responsible for that. That being said, this presentation is for educational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as a guide to be able to gain uh, free internet access through your tablet or uh, laptop, although it is completely possible and virtually undetectable. Again, you didn't hear that from me. Now the easiest way and safest way to tether your Android phone or your iPhone is with the over-the-shelf software that's offered through their stores. Uh, with Android, it's called PDA Net. It costs about $30. It has a little bit of configuration required, but not much. The hardest part about getting PDA Net uh, working with your Android phone is the installation of the software on your computer and enabling the USB debugging on your phone, which is, which is not very difficult. It just requires you uh, toggle a checks box in your phone setting and the installation of the software on your computer is it's really easy. After downloading the correct software you'll be prompted through the installation process. It's pretty much self-loading. And that's it. You're done. You've turned your cell phone into a MiFi hotspot. That's what the kids are calling it today. Instead of Wi-Fi it's MiFi because you are the mobile hotspot. The legitimate way for tethering your iPhone to your PC is uh, a whole lot easier. All you have to do is Go to your home screen and select settings, press general and then select network, press internet tethering and turn the function on. You can either connect your handset to your PC by the USB cable that came bundled with or with Bluetooth. Once it's connected to your PC, uh, select the iPhone from the list of connections available using the internet access icon in the system tray and then press connect and you'll be able to surf the web using the handset's 3G connection. However, if you are not already subscribed to the data plan which allows this type of activity, you, it's possible you may be automatically bumped up to this expensive uh, $45 addition per month uh, feature. Now for Android users, for those of you who don't want to pay the $30, there is a freeware version called Proxoid which you can download uh, if you just Google P-R-O-X-O-I-D. You will get a, a software development kit, uh, and w which will allow you to place drivers onto your computer. Now, there are quite a few settings you have to tweak, and you also have to configure your browser to uh, a proxy server whenever you want to tether. Um, and this is how you do it. To connect to the internet via Proxoid on the phone, you tap a button to start the proxy server. On your Mac, you enter a command in the terminal, and on Windows, you run a batch file to start the tunnel, and then you select your web browser to use that proxy. The pros of this method are that it's free, and you don't need to uh, hack your phone, so it's less risky. The cons are that you've got to install the Android uh, software development kit, something really only developers should have to do, and set your browser to use the proxy server each time you want to tether. The directions, again, for this installation are pretty straightforward. If you've ever installed a program on your computer, you should have no problem. Here we are at the last method to turn your cell phone into a mobile hotspot. Uh, it involves a process called routing for the Android phone and jailbreaking for the iPhone. Both routing and jailbreaking are just another way to say that you've turned yourself into an administrator and you now have access to features that regular clients uh, do not have access to. Also, it allows you to add third-party apps and enable functions that are normally locked away and kept from the regular user. 
Rooting and jailbreaking is not for the faint of heart. It's a multi-step process that uses an unofficial software which can do what they call bricking your phone, which turns your phone into basically a doorstop or a brick if it's applied incorrectly. Um, it's doable for hackers and geeks who've had experience uh, with self-modding software. It's not something that the regular person should be doing. My original intent was to show a step-by-step -step process on um, routing and jailbreaking for both of these devices, but apart from each device taking up to 30 minutes to complete, uh, logistically it may not be the smartest thing for me to do, so I'm going to supply you with uh, a bunch of keywords that you can simply Google or look up in YouTube and you will be inundated with a plethora of videos uh, done by basically 13 year olds who have uh, mastered the process and uh, you know as they say if a child can do it. Something interesting I wanted to mention before I go for iPhone users um, some third-party application developers have been sneaking code into their programs under the guise of fairly innocuous programs like a flashlight program which will enable your phone to tether to a mobile device uh, secretly and not incur charges in the form of an extra data plan. One example of this is um, a one dollar program called Handy Light which was available through iTunes for a whole 45 minutes. Uh, basically uh, just by punching in a color code combination through the interface you were able to um, connect the iPhone to your computer through an ad hoc network and if you uh, tweak some of your proxy settings and there's, there's more than enough information available online, simple step-by-step -step stuff on how to do it, you could use your device to connect to the internet without uh, letting AT&T get an extra penny from you. However, uh, they are threatening these days to monitor your, your data bandwidth cap and if you do exceed that, it's possible they could automatically enroll you in a higher data plan. Okay, that's it for me. Now if you're ever stuck out on a dusty road and or your internet goes out in your house and you just need to use your laptop, there can rest assured that there are ways for you to hop onto the internet and get your jobs done. It's David Hahn saying, have a nice summer.